Huh? Good evening, Ricky. Good evening, Guillermo. How are you? That's your name, right? Ricky, right? That's me. Okay, great. Please have great. a seat. Thank you very much, Ricky, for uh, seeing me. I really uh, take, uh, really appreciate you taking the time and uh, uh, you know seeing me this uh, uh, this evening for you. My pleasure. Thank you. I went ahead and I brought these uh, coffee samples here uh, for you. I actually thought that I was going to have a, a little bit of a diff difficulty arriving here because of uh, uh, weather conditions. Um, arriving over here, I hit a, I hit a little bit of a rainstorm, and of course that always uh, it causes causes a little bit of traffic. Yeah, and this is Miami. Imagine the other traffic on top of that. Right, right. Where are you from, Ricky? I was actually born and raised here, so I haven't been too far. Oh, so you're a local, local here from Miami, huh? I'm a local, local. Okay, that's great. That's great. That's uh, really good uh, to hear. Yeah. Well, hey, Ricky, let me go ahead and uh, let me take the time and uh, talk to you a little bit uh, about Palermo Coffee Group, right? Uh, Palermo Coffee Group, uh, we are a company. We have been in existence in, uh, for about over 100 years. We're a centenarian company, right? Um, all this time it's been chartered over there in El Salvador. And uh, here in Florida, we just went ahead and we established a charter about three years ago, okay? Um, we have a very strong presence in uh, Central America, and in uh, Central America, we're currently serving over 2,000 restaurants, and uh, we also serve, I would say, about five larger um, supermarket chains there as well. Uh, I understand that you have a chain of uh, uh, of restaurants here in the South Florida area. Is that correct? That's what we do. That's what we do. Okay. Yeah. That's that's yeah. That's really good. Well, uh, Palermo Coffee Group, uh, besides uh, supplying coffee to the uh, restaurants and to the uh, supermarket chains over there in El Salvador, we also exchange or we trade the coffee over the open exchanges, right? Everything that's to do with NIBOT, the New York Board of Trade, right? The uh, Chicago uh, Board of Exchange as well. We go ahead and we uh, trade coffee there because we actually deal with the uh, coffee commodity in itself. Um, we have 100% custody of the supply chain, right? And that basically means that we grow the coffee, we roast the coffee, we package the coffee, and we export the coffee. Now, let me ask you a question now. Are you familiar with a, a Starbucks? Of course you're familiar with Starbucks, right? Definitely. Now, what about Diedrich, Diedrich Coffee? Have you ever heard of Diedrich Coffee? Diedrich, sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me ask you a question. What would you like to have in common? With Starbucks, I mean, I know that you are in the supermarket chain, and I know that Starbucks is in the uh, coffee business. What would you like to have in common with Starbucks? I mean, I guess the name. If I had a name that people can recognize, like like Starbucks has, uh -huh. I'd be in business for a while. Okay, all right. Well, you know, that's uh, that's actually very good. And uh, matter of fact, that's one of the uh, core competencies that we have, and I'll get to that in, in just about one minute. Right, but let me ask you a question, Ricky. In your supermarkets that you have, what brands are you currently carrying? What brands do you currently have in your in your in your supermarkets? Off the top of my head, we got the we got the Folgers, mm -hmm. we got the Maxwell House, mm -hmm. we have the Starbucks branded coffee. Uh huh. Um, it's the ones I can remember off the top right. of my head. But you don't have a Ricky's coffee. No, sir. No, not a Ricky's coffee. Ah, uh, see. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Now, um, one, of the, one of the things about having your own branding power or one of the things of um, having the advantages of branding your own coffee is that it really gives you a competitive advantage in the a marketplace, right? especially if you have a supermarket chain that has been established and you have a long-standing clientele, right? That clientele, when they come in, to your supermarket and they see a coffee and they see that you are branding your own coffee, right? It's actually going to create brand awareness not only for your coffee, right, but also for your supermarkets, right? Is that something that you would be interested in? Yeah, people knowing about my brand, that sounds mm -hmm. good. Yeah, okay. All right, well, uh, Palermo Coffee Group, you know, we can go ahead and uh, as we discussed, uh, we can go ahead and we can brand your coffee. Right, I took the opportunity of uh, bringing these uh, samples over here for you. Right, um, as you can see, the, these particular samples are arriving in a gold bag. 
right? We can go ahead and we can uh, basically create any bag for you. We have it in silver, we have it in gold, we have it in matte gold, right? Green. You can also create your own logo. Now we do have um, our own graphic artists that can go ahead and design the logo for you and place it on the bag, right? Or you can just go ahead and provide us with the finished artwork and we can go ahead and we can brand your bags on, um, we can go ahead and we can package your bags um, in either one pound bags or, or half pound bags as well. Now if you're interested in larger quantities like, you know, tons, metric tons, we go ahead and we do that as well, but normally that's something that we allocate to the uh, open, open exchanges. Does that sound like something that um, you might be interested in, you know, branding your own coffee and allocating to us actually store shelves so we can promote your coffee within your supermarkets? Is that something that, 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 that sounds feasible to you? Never even thought of the idea before, but it does sound really interesting. Yeah, it really is. Uh, we've, actually done, uh, we've actually done this test with uh, other uh, supermarket chains here in the area, not, not as quite as large as yours, right? We've already done a couple of test runs with uh, uh, smaller stores in the Key West area where they go ahead and they sell their coffee on their own private label. And it seems to be uh, something that, that will, it's gonna cause brand recognition for your store Right, it's going to identify the coffee with your store, so you're actually gonna uh, begin to have like a secondary effect. When people drink your coffee, they will be reminded, they'll be reminded of your store, and it's kind of like a like a snowball effect because the more you keep the customer aware, right, that you are present there for them, you know, the more business that you're likely to have, right? Yeah. Now, I would uh, definitely like to schedule a follow-up with you so we can go ahead and take a look at additional bags, uh, but some you know additional logos that we have, and uh, to see exactly you know how we can you know create a good fit between our company and your company, right? So um, when would be a good time for you? Um, I'm available next week. Anytime next week. Anytime next week. Okay. How about um, next week? This date at this time. Next, uh, next today I believe is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday at six p.m. is fine. That's perfect for me. Sound good to you? Great. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Appreciate you. Thanks very much. Okay, you have a good day.